Mark, you've got a classic English pudding for us to try this morning. Oh, I certainly have, and this is going to be a great match for the cup of tea I've got. It's a classic, it's a steamed pudding, and we've got treacle in here. Look at this, this is that really thick, dark uh, sugar with that sort of fantastic flavor in there. We're gonna make some butterscotch sauce to serve with it, and uh, or you can serve it with some custard or some um, ice cream, anything you want. It's really easy to do, I'm gonna show you how to do it a little bit later on in the show. The only thing, it takes a couple of hours to cook. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. New week, new recipe, and we're making a classic English dessert, Mark, that's perfect for a cold night. So what, what are you calling it? Treacle. A, a oh, treacle, treacle steamed pudding. Treacle. Don't knock it till you try it. It's okay. beautiful. Is it like golden syrup? Uh, well, we've got golden syrup in it, so oh, that's okay. golden syrup. What is treacle then? This. Just more sugar. Yeah, but like really dark and caramelised. Oh, I'll use the other finger for that one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay, really cool. Sticky. But, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> get it everywhere. Oh. But the flavour in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's quite good. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Let's get going. Right. Right. So we're going to make it first. So it's really easy. So basically, we put everything in here. Yep. And whip it up. Okay. Great. Right. So I'm going to start with some flour. So I've sifted some flour. Mm -hmm. That goes in. Uh, some baking powder. So we'll get a nice lift off that. Yep. I've got some butter over here, yes. which I'm just going to melt. So just on a low heat, okay, we're just cool. melting that. I'll keep an eye on that for your chef. Okay. <laughs> good. Good work. Um, some brown sugar goes in there. All right, we need some flavour into our sponge pudding. Yes. Um, mixed spice. Okay, so nice. smell that. Oh, yeah, that's Beautiful. good. So we just got a little bit in there, you know, that's just going to give us some nice flavour. Um, and then we've got some uh, golden syrup, which Yum. is really nice as well. You can do like a, um, a steamed pudding just with golden syrup if you want a lighter version. You have it all the time as a kid, golden syrup on my toast, but I don't touch it nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> but on a pudding, a I would. And then we've got the treacle, which goes in there as well. But it just gives you that extra flavour. Nice. And there's a little bit of caster sugar in there as well. A couple of eggs. Nice. We're going to crack into there. Okay, good. This is good. Yeah. I'm liking the ingredients so far. Yeah. Nice and easy. This is, uh, this is my kind of bacon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put it in a bowl, turn the mixer on. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And uh, a little bit of milk goes in there as well. Okay. And uh, if that's all melted, we can pop that in. Give it a little stir just to start it going. And then I'm just going to pop it on the machine with a whisker on, get it all mixed in, and then we'll just give it a bit of a blast. Okay, cool, do you want the butter in now? Yeah, yeah, pop the butter in cool. now. So you can make individual ones if you want, yep. or you can make one Bang. large uh, okay, treacle right. pudding. And that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, nice. So what's the most important thing to get right with this step? Making sure you've got measurements. Mix, measurements. Measurements. Okay, good. So it's, go. all, it's, it's baking, so it's all, uh, it's all science, it's all about measurements. You know, take your time, weigh it all out, and then uh, just then just throw it in whiskey. Wow. <laughs> We tried at home the other day over the weekend to make a polenta orange zest cake. Oh, they're, they're really nice. I love polenta yeah, cakes. It was really nice, actually. Did it work? Well, yeah, the problem we had, though, was <laughs> when we were trying to make a bigger serving of it and we started getting confused, you know? We kind of timed everything by one and a half and then you get confused, you know? Oh, how many eggs do I need now? But it turned out all right. So measurement is very important. Yeah, measurement, measurement is key. But then, it, you know, it, it does work, though. You know, you take your time. All right. It's looking good. So it looks, uh, yeah, it looks good. So just sort of like um, give it a scrape down, just because that's all the part of the measurement, isn't it? You know, if you yeah. leave it all inside of the bowl, then it, then it potentially won't work. Okay, great. Okay, just knock it down again. Nice. And then we'll let it, we'll let it whip up again. Okay, good. Hopefully, get your bowl on right. Oh, there you go. Right, and then, so you can use, as we said before, little individual ones. Yeah. That's fine, or a nice big glass bowl here. Okay. So I'm just going to lightly grease it, so that'll just help the um, the mixture come out. How much will it rise? I mean, it's got the baking powder in as well, so it's going to rise a bit, and it's got the eggs as well. So, okay. So I'll show you when I put it in. Okay, great. Right, so here's our mixture. Looking good. Oh, do I get to lick the beater? Look at it, yeah, <laughs> and this is this is the very, not shouldn't promote um, eating raw mix, but just taste that, because it's okay. so good. Mm. It's almost better raw than... Uh, mm. Oh yeah, cool. that's good. But it's it's like a childhood uh, taste, isn't it? Okay, cool. Right, so just pour it straight in there into your grease mould. Yes. So, you know, you probably don't want to fill it up much more than that because when you cook it, it's going to rise. So you're probably okay. going to get, you know, not far off the top there. So it's going to go up about two thirds. Uh, so you fill it up well, two thirds. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah two thirds and then it's all going to come yeah, through. Cool. So we want to steam this now because that's obviously in the name of the title of the dish, what we're doing. We want to steam it. So into a big pan, um, just get it off the bottom with yes. like a little saucer or something. Nice okay. hot water, yeah. lid on there so it's just steaming. And it's probably going to take a couple of hours. Okay, okay so you need a bit of time. 
Um, so I did prepare one earlier, so I'm just going to go and get that in our, in our break and we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish oh, it. Oh, brilliant. OK, we don't have to wait two hours. We'll get the sauce to go with the pudding as well and we'll see the finished product straight after we catch up with Holly. Right now, though, we need to get a little saucy in the Beko <laughs> kitchen. Uh, so the pudding, you've got the finished product, have you? Yeah, so the, so the pudding's cooking. Yeah. Well, I've made one before, so I'm going to bring that out in a minute. Oh, OK, cool. What are you going to tease us with now, then? Right, we're going to make a, a sauce to go with it. So you don't need to do this. So, so basically, you can get the, the pudding, yep. tip it out, and you can just put some golden syrup on top if yeah. you want to you want to leave it like that and it's yes. just good to go serve it with some custard or some ice cream that's mm. you know beautiful works with that or if you want to make it extra special we're going to make some butterscotch oh yeah, now we're talking yeah you might as well have the whole hog might as well right so we've got some brown sugar goes in a pan nice just break that up a little bit yeah and then we've got some cream okay this is how easy it is to make Goes butterscotch it, yeah okay. it's, it's just it's too easy that's good because you can make this you can make a big batch and just keep it in the fridge <laughs> oh no it wouldn't even last in that fridge <laughs> i know it'll be on everything and butterscotch then, uh, on your toast for the morning yeah oh, don't knock it till you try it <laughs> well and then so just give it give it a good whisk in yep let it all dissolve and then bring it up to the boil and we're just going to boil it a little bit and it'll just um, it'll start re emulsifying into each other, start thickening. Okay. Now that's just the normal brown sugar, but if you use the dark brown sugar, you'll get a deeper flavour. Okay. And I've got a little pinch of salt as well. So once we're happy with the consistency, we'll pull it off and we'll just add a little bit of salt. Oh, it's like salt and butterscotch. Just, yeah, just a little bit. It's, uh, it's going to be good. Right, you ready? Yeah, that's show us. like a drum roll. Okay, hang on. Oh, Ta-da! I know. Look at that. So <laughs> nice. There it is. So this is our this is our steam pudding. Good work. So we just uh, we just cooked it, let it cool down like just a little bit in the mould, and then tip it out because we've greased it. It comes straight out. It's really good. That's good to go. So it's nice and warm. We're just waiting for our butterscotch. It smells incredible. This butterscotch, by the way. We'll just put a little. So it's starting to bubble now. Yeah, a little to bring it up we'll to the boil. Yeah, just yep. boil it a little bit. Now we're going to go the whole hog. We'll put a little bit of golden syrup on the top. Okay. Oh, geez, don't want to burn this. What do you mean when you say emulsifying? Uh, that it all mixes in together. Oh, yeah, cool. Let's have a look. How have you done? It's starting right, to bubble good. a bit too much, so I've pulled it off the element. Oh, look at that. So we've got a nice thick uh, consistency. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, that's good. Is it? Oh, yeah, nice. Well, it should be. I've seen what you put in there. <laughs> <laughs> Butter, sugar and sugar. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so you've got your, you've got your uh, golden syrup on top, and then when it's hot as well, this is what you want to do. Pour that on top of there as well. That's going to mix into that and slowly run down the side. And because the uh, pudding's hot and the butterscotch is hot, it's going to soak up and go in there. And it is literally steaming. Look at that. <laughs> that, was, that was good. <laughs> Thanks. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. It's probably a dessert where you can, you know, you can have it once a year. You know, there's so much sugar and richness in there, but it's perfect time of year to have it. Once a year. And if you've not had it this year, make it and then eat it. <laughs> no, that was nice and easy oh, yeah. and smells incredible. Cannot wait to get tasting this pudding, which we'll get to do at the end of the show. And if you want to taste it as well, you can head along to our website and grab the recipe. Oh my God, this is so good. I've just been trying it. <laughs> I've made a little hole in the back. Of it. <laughs> but it's really good. I've got to test everything. The only thing missing is a cup of tea. Oh, nice. Oh. Look at that. that is beautiful. Oh. Try that now. Oh, yeah. Can't oh, wait to get into it. Would you like a spoon? Oh okay. You've done this. What are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow you're going to do something completely different a glazed meatloaf.